Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Nathan Gorman here in Liverpool. You've waited a long time for this fight to come around. How does it feel that it's finally here? Yeah, mate, uh, 15 months I've waited, so long time coming. But we're here now, aren't we? You know, I'm happy to be here. Thank God I'm here, you know, it's the main thing. I'm just looking forward to Friday night now, putting on the show. Is it a case of any, any ring rust going into there? I mean, it's been a long time since you've been in a ring on TV. To, uh, to be main eventing on Channel 5 is, is a big deal for anyone. Of course it is. Listen, like you said, the, the, there's going to be a bit of ring rust, rust there. I haven't boxed in front of a crowd, don't forget, since Daniel Dubois, so I, I haven't I haven't felt that feeling in a bit of a long time, three years, so it's going to be it's going to be good, but I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to getting back under them lights, to be fair. How big do you see this as an opportunity? I mean, with it being on terrestrial TV, we saw the viewing figures for the the previous fight night on uh, on Wasserman on Channel Five. It's a big opportunity, and there's going to be a lot of eyes on on Friday night. Yeah, massive. Like you said, you, they got over a million viewers, didn't they? Um, the last Channel Five show. So if I can bump them numbers up, I'll be more than happy with that. You know, it's a heavyweight fight. Tune in for it because fellow what I'm fighting, big big KO ratio. So he's going to come for it and throw bombs and. You know what they say about heavyweight boxes, it's only one punch, so I'm expecting a good fight. What's the time out the ring been like for yourself? Obviously, you've, you've been in the gym, I'm sure, and, and ticking over, but what's it like been waiting and any frustration for you? A um, bit of the both. Obviously, I've been frustrated with, de- like, I've been in camp, then not in camp, then I've been in camp, then not in camp. Then I was due to fight on the Savannah Marshall card, then, ov- then, ov- then I got ill five or six days beforehand. But obviously, it was out of my hands, but there's nothing you could do so I thought if there's any more bad luck in the world it's coming to me in it so but I think everything happens for a reason look where we're at now just walk, just walk through this press conference door and first thing has hit me is my face you know uh, all over everywhere so it's surreal really I'm looking forward to it mate Does it feel like a little bit of a fresh start with it being so long since you've been in the ring? It, it, it has to be fair it's like a new new book you know a new chapter type of thing um, obviously I had the journey with Frank Warren and BT and being now with the Sowlands brother and Channel 5 is like a breath of fresh air so I'm more than excited and more than looking forward to, to it, to be fair. Um, fantastic, fantastic opportunity for me as well. Do you think you needed that that fresh chapter, a little bit of fresh start, and just sort of start over again and, and work your way up again? Yeah, definitely. Then it's, it kick-starts me. I think it's kick my career. Well, hopefully, anyway, hopefully it kick-starts my career come Friday night. Um, like you said, it's like a breath of fresh air, new leaf in the book. So it's exciting because it's all new. It's exciting. I know this fight is going to be the first thing on your mind, but I have to mention Mr. Fabio Wardley, obviously mandated at that level. Um, is that something that we may see in, in the few months to come? I can't see why not. Probably the end of the year or something. Um, I think Fabio's fighting on the Chisora card, is he? Or some, I think. Something like that. Obviously, I'm fighting. Listen, first and foremost, if I even think about Fabio, I've got to do the business Friday. But that's, that's a fight I'm more than, more than open to. Um, good fight. Fabio's unbeaten. Should be for a British title, British and Commonwealth, in my opinion. Um, Joe Joyce is way past that level, let's be honest. Joe jo Joyce should be fighting for a world title now, in my opinion, but that's boxing for you, isn't it? Um, same as Fabio Wardley, he, he's past English level. You know, he's done that. So I think me and him probably will fight end of the year, British and Commonwealth, or some, something along them lines. You know, something a bit more marbles on the, on, on, on the board, as they say, you know what I mean? You know, if you needs to be something prestige or a British title not an English really so I can't understand why they've mandated us for that but that's boxing isn't it weirder thing has happened you mentioned Joe Joyce there um, just a couple of things from the heavyweight scene Daniel Dubois obviously getting the win over in the US over Trevor Bryan I'm, I'm not sure if you've seen that yet but what did you make of make of it yeah he'd done, he done very well I watched it um, slept him didn't he uh, fourth, was it fourth round fourth round big left up that's Daniel and if he punches your lands you're going over done very very well WBA regular heavyweight champion of the world fair play to him mate good luck to him um, he's doing really really well but obviously Trevor Bryan you know he's not being horrible but I think there's any top 15 heavyweight in Britain would have beat him in my opinion but you can't you can't make an excuse you know Daniels have to go over there and do what he's done he's done it in good fanatic style so good luck to him and probably who knows our, our, our paths may cross again never know you say your past may cross. I mean, down the line, is that a, is that a fight that you'd like to take a rematch for? Definitely, definitely. Um, I'd love to have a dance again with him. I'm, I've I've always said, even when I first turned pro at 19 years of age, I always said I want to be known in my career for fighting whoever or whoever presents themselves. Um, I can honestly say, through my whole career, I've never said no to no one. So 
that's what I want to be remembered for. Win, lose, or draw. I just want to give people, you know, when if they buy a ticket, come and watch me fight, and they can always remember, you know, Nathan fought this person, that person, and win a few belts on the way. That's what we like to hear. Got to talk about Tyson Fury as well. We saw the video last night um, from Queensbury Promotions. So it was touting that he may come back in an exhibition fight. Um, is that something you would expect from Tyson, or would you like to see him out in the ring in a professional manner? Um, Tyson's Tyson. You know, we could wake up. The thing is, he could have woke up yesterday morning. That that's what he wants to do. But today, he, he might want to come back and fight Usyk or Joshua. It's just whatever mood he's in, isn't it? Um, but either way, really, listen, Dave, long, the main thing for Tyson is, and I've said this in previous interviews, as long as he's happy and healthy, who are we to judge? If he wants to retire, just leave him alone, let him enjoy it. Look at the career the man's had. Outside of boxing, look what he's done. Look what he's come back from, losing 10 stone, getting over mental health issues, trying to kill himself, drinking, alcohol abuse, drug abuse. You know what I mean? People are, people are pushing down under the carpet. So if he's healthy and happy and he wants to spend time with his family, he's got hundreds of millions in the bank he's had a career what some people would dream of so just let him be if he wants to do it let's be fair he's unbelievable boxing I hope I, myself personally I hope, I hope he doesn't retire because I don't think there's, I don't think there's anyone out there to beat him the only person who beats Tyson Fury is Tyson Fury that's, that's the, only, the only man to beat him is himself and I think that's a fair few years off, way off yet um, but as long as he's healthy and happy that's the main thing Certainly as well. Thank you very much for your time, Nathan. Look forward to Friday night. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Cheers, Mike. In here, please, chaps. Good. Do you want to go face to face? Okay. Great. Good.